Yeah, get Carrie some water. Okay, Gary. Wow, I can't wait to get him. I'm going to take 
Okay. Here we go. Thumbs up. Let's go. and welcome to Council Rock High School North graduation for the class of 2017. At this time, would everyone please rise and join me in the singing of our national anthem, which will be followed by a moment of silence. Oh, say 
can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets were there, the most bursting in air. Yea, through through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave? For the land of the free. I'm Susan McCarthy, principal of Council Rock High School North. And I would like to begin our program by thanking Mr. Wayne Bishop and the members of the symphonic marching and concert bands and Mr. Jared Williams and the members of the choir ensemble. The people on the stage with me this afternoon include Dr. Robert Frazier, Superintendent of Schools, as well as members of the Council Rock Board of School Directors, President, Mr. Edward Tate, Vice President, Ms. Denise Brooks, Mr. Andy Block, Mr. Mark Bilek, Dr. Bill Foster, Mr. Gerald Grupp, Ms. Kyle McKessie, Ms. Wendy Thomas, and Dr. Michael Thorwart. Soon to be joining me on stage will be Mason Luff, class president, followed by Ivy Attenborough, Brandon Sarami, and Dorothy Zhao, student speakers. In addition, I'm very happy to welcome members of the faculty of Council Rock High School North, who I would like to personally thank having witnessed firsthand their great efforts to prepare our graduates to experience the great successes that they deserve. I also welcome faculty members from our elementary and middle sending schools, including Churchville, Goodnow, Newtown, Richboro, Rolling Hills, Saul Finestone, Maureen M. Welch, and Wrightstown Elementary Schools, as well as Newtown and Richboro Middle Schools. By including educators of all levels in our ceremony, we recognize that no student will reach graduation day unless there is a strong educational foundation upon which to build. This afternoon, I therefore welcome parents, guardians, grandparents, relatives, friends, faculty, past and present, administrators, school board members, and graduates to Council Rock High School North's graduation ceremony for the class of 2017, the 15th class to be graduating from Council Rock High School North. Standing before you are 437 young men and women who have achieved graduate status at Council Rock North. Although they have earned the necessary credits to be graduating this afternoon, they have accomplished so much more. Within this class are students who have been recognized locally statewide and nationally for achievement in academics, athletics, the visual and performing arts, and community service. Under the guidance of our high school faculty, they have successfully met all of the challenges presented to them. The students in the class of 2017 have individually and collectively enhanced Council Rock North's reputation for excellence and established positive direction for the future classes of our high school. In particular, this is a class that enjoys the distinction of having nine distinguished scholars and 36 scholars, and remarkably, 23 national merit scholars. It is also a class that has brave young men and women ready to stand up for freedom and democracy in an ever increasingly turbulent world. At this time, would any student enlisting in the armed services entering an ROTC program 
or attending one of the service academies, please be acknowledged. To parents and guardians of our students, I would like to recognize the essential support you have provided to your son or daughter with graduation as the culminating event. This afternoon, we at Council Rock High School North share your pride in honoring these young men and women in this rite of passage to adulthood. Now to recognize each member of North's graduating class of 2017, I would like to introduce Mr. Don Foster, social studies teacher, and Ms. Diana Mars Bauer, English department coordinator and teacher. The distinguished scholars for the class of 2017, Matilda Mulan Brilliman, Sean Condon, Dana Rachel Novikov. Piper Mikhail Jones. Cameron James Fisher Allen. Benjamin Ethan Melnick. The class of 2017 officers. Mason Luff, President and Distinguished Scholar. Gemma Louise Hollister, Vice President. Dorothy Zhao, Secretary, Distinguished Scholar, and Commencement Speaker. Margaret Ann Dioria, Treasurer and Distinguished Scholar. Carly Nicole Blair, Public Relations. Riley Rose Gallagher, SEB President. Ivy Marie Attenborough, Commencement Speaker. Brandon A. Cerami, Commencement Speaker. Annalisa Mary Abraham. Alex V. Lagutin. Solomon Cole Abramson. Justin Reed Lamb. Nicholas Robert Accardo. Mariana Lambros. Claudia Noel Adams. Charlotte Jean Lang. Katerina Rose Adams. Shay L. Lankin. Yamen Alamam. Danielle Page Lean. Sydney Page Allen. Jacob C. Lee. Ellen Rosemary Alt. Sarah Jane Lefave. Taylor Ray Amazine. Anna Adele Lehman. Michael Emilio Amade. Avery Laura Lentini. Jamie Elizabeth Apple. Eric D. Levine. Sydney Elizabeth Apple. Daniel Brent Levy. Savannah Brianne Arnold. Catherine Bird Ligos. Sophia Ruha Asadpour. Daniel Lowe. Shay M. Ashbo. Benjamin J. Lockwood. Timothy Joseph Ayer. Olivia J. Lockwood. Arsh Asim Beg. Bria Michelle Long. Samuel Joseph Bancroft. Nicholas Michael Long. Marissa Renee Barber. Michael Hunter Longo. Danae Elise Barkley. Catherine Grace Lustig. Adam J. Barlin. Daniel P. Lutkins. Erin Maureen Bartlett. Sophia Arlene Lynch. Patrick Hunter Bartlett. Jeremy Ross Lyons. Johanna Rose Batterton. Nicholas James Lyons. Tyler J. Becker. Emily Madison Mackin. Joshua Allen Bedard. Fariza Malik. 
Jillian K. Beidler. Julianne Elizabeth Mangano. Abby Elizabeth Berezin. Rosie Lynn Jimenez Maris Segan. Eden Berlin. Megan Lynn Markitan. Kevin Eugene Bidoff. Matthew Timothy Marshall. Matthew Finn Birock. Daniel George Matz. Dalton Jonathan Billick. Grace Susan Maurer. Desiree Bierbeck. Ethan McAuliffe. Henry Christoph Black. Elizabeth Mary McCullough. John Paul Blackwood. Kira Nicole McKessie. Brooke A. Blatstein. Nicholas Anthony Mella. Callan Frost Blauth. Tyler Lawson Malkarski. Grant W. Bonas. Madison Rebecca Malzier. Cameron Pascal Bontempo. Catherine Elise Mernicke. Jacob A. Borden. Alexander P. Miller. Daniel Patrick Baruta. James Alexander Miller V. Samantha Elizabeth Bovino. Aaron R. Milliron. Thomas William Boyle, Jr. Evan Alexander Minig. Kevin McLaughlin Brandberg. Charles Joseph Mystic. Bailey Neela Russell. Leah Grace Mitchell. Jack Milton Breithaupt. Michael Simon Mitgang. Elizabeth Margaret Brodzik. Sarah Rebecca Waldowski. Ethan Shane Breutman. Ann Parker Malloy. Aliza Natanya Bromberg Garber. Zachary Winfield Moyer. Alan David Browning. Celia Ruth Bokehi. Nicholas Christopher Buentello. Joseph Michael Mulholland. Aiden C. Burke. Caitlin Susan Mullen. Nathan Michael Burns. Zachary Daniel Mullen. Drew Edward Burton. Griffin Edward Murphy. Brooke Elizabeth Callie. Matthew Lawrence Murphy. Jamie A. Cameron. Sarah Ruby Murphy. Andrew Dylan Capaldi. Sean Joseph Murphy. Henry James Carrington. Olivia Rose Musto. Julia Ann Carter. Justin David Nager. Anthony Salvatore Caruso. Danielle Starr Nelson. Carlos Antonio Castillo Navarro. Luke Edmund Nelson. Joseph Louis Charno Jr. Alexandra Sloan Newman. Emily Marie Clark. Rachel S. Nicholson. Jessica Haley Clark. Titania V. Nimagata. Amy Klibanoff. Michael Aaron Nolan. Benjamin Michael Coach. Megan Lynn Nolte. Connor Mark Collins. Liam Seamus Nunaviller. Morgan Alexandra Colito. Alexander David Agmanowitz. Brendan Robert Conahan. Cole Hunter Oshasky. Sean M. Connor. Shane Christopher Oros. Megan Carmen Conroy. Luke Michael Ortendahl. Ryan Patrick Costello. Emily Marie Panyard. Sabrina Justine Crane. Daniel Park. Joseph Christopher Crooks. Josie Marie Perea. Julia Chio Crooks. Ashka K. Patel. Jeffrey Hunter Crows. Akash M. Patel. Seamus J. Crossett. Jonathan Nickel Paul. Theo Cutler. Kellen James Pacuch. Matthew Albert Dallas. Luke Matthew Pell. Lauren Elizabeth D'Amelia. Michael Parapichka. Julia Danielle. Katie Alyssa Pereira. 
Bernadette Marie Darius. Shannon Lydia Perry. Annika Margot Davies. Anthony Michael Petrucci. Zachary David Deegan. Mary Therese Marguerite Philbrook. Matthew John Degnan. Sophia Catherine Pinchotti. Michael William Degnan. Hunter Matthew Pippin. Tyler James DeCourt. Santiago Jesus Platero. Jane Arden Delahy. Taylor Nicole Polinski. Jacqueline Ann Dell. Cameron Alexandra Pollock. Joshua Scott Demetz. Sakshi Popley. Teresa Marie Dempsey. Beth Felice Portnoy. Dominic Santino De Simone. Joseph Daniel Preciado. Evan Michael Devine. Zachary Robert Priestley. Lily D. Silvestro. Camille Anastasia Quigley. Jesse M. Dickinson. Alexandria Marie Quinlan. Faith Lee DeJulia. Megan A. Quinlan. Dylan T. Dolan. Ryan Anthony Rafa. Connor James Donaghy. Adam Robert Raymond. Jack Taggart Donnelly. Aman P. Reddy. Jamie Doratov. Rachel Redless. David Reed Dorch. Brielle Nicole Reich. Alana G. Drabik. Alfred Avellino Richter. Mia J. Drabik. Sarah Isabel Richter. Caitlin Ann Duffy. Carly Nicole Riggs. Hannah Karen Dugan. Michael Anthony Ritchie. Mary Kate Rose Dugan. Megan Devine Roberts. Gabrielle E. Doon. Michael T. Robertson. Mary Kate Dernan. Kayla Janae Robinson. Matthew H. Dyson. Alec James Rhoda. Vicente Gonzalo Echeverria. Nicholas A. Rohal. Joseph Michael Egan IV. Haley Michelle Rosenfield. Noah Barrett Ellen. Dylan Brett Rossen. Jacob N. Eisenberg. Zachary Alexander Rothenberg. Samantha Christine Eline. Scott Eric Rothschild. Thomas J. Ellis. Scott Hansen Rothstein. Mary Catherine Erlinson. Megan Sophia Ruggles. Mary Catherine Eshelman. Brandon Joseph Safry. William W. Fabian III. Joanne Elizabeth Salzer. Justin M. Fanini. Regina Lynn Salzer. Jacob Feibusch. Vignesh Sanuvala. Lucas Adam Feinstein. Christian Meadows Saar. Kristen Kayla Fern. John Matthew Savoni. Michael James Fay. Joseph Emmanuel Scardino. Juliana Michelle Fiandra. Delaney E. Schenker. Jason B. Fink. Amanda Marie Schlotter. Dennis Timothy Fursov. Matthew Aaron Schneider. Kristen N. Florzak. Samantha Taylor Schnell. Juliette Rose Flynn. Elise Colleen Shukin. Sean Patrick Frawley. Kevin A. Schwoyer. Jacob Robert Gallagher. Darren Maya Siegel. Amanda Rose Galena. Graham Parker Sendak. Matthew Richard Gamels. Jillian Elizabeth Cher Rab. Timothy William Gersitz. Daria Alexandrovna Shemet. Amanda Lee Genshieski. Gabrielle Christine Shepherd. Emma Kate Gorecki. Grant Joseph Shea. Abdul Hadi Gori. 
Tyler Joseph Shields. Kevin Michael Gibson. John Andrew Schultz. Tyler Joseph Gilchrist. Ariel Paige Schwartz. Brielle Hannah Goldberg. Dylan Michael Silver. Fausto S. Gomez. Rebecca Silver. Spencer Novak Gordon. Kira Quinn Silvestri. Samantha Amelia Gouger. Shreya Singh. Emily Anita Gulazian. Allison Sirota. Max Richard Gulazian. Robin Grace Smith. Ryan David Gorley. Alexander Ray Snyder. Catherine Diane Greeley. John Paul Snyder. Evan A. Gregg. Alexander Nicholas So. Luke Philip Grinchpin. Reese Catherine Sedano. Connor John Gromlick. David Wright Solomon. Nolan Earl Gromlick. Jessica Michelle Sommer. Hadley Elizabeth Grundman. Adriana Elizabeth Stefani. Nicholas Vincent Guarna. Annalise Pearl Stein. Timothy R. Haas. Matthew Henry Stifler. Megan Catherine Haggerty. Tucker David Stone. James Walter Hakowski. Sean Henry Stranahan. Christian Patrick Hanna. Emily Lang Stranford. Sikora Hartman. Shannon Alexis Strivieri. Matthew Havacon. Blair Alexandra Strobel. Ama S. Hawthorne. Curtis Nicholas Stroaker. Madison Lee Hayes. Garrett Owen Strominger. Brandon Michael Heath. Surya Bala Sabu. Sean Francis Heffernan. Amanda Catherine Sublet. Samuel D. Helberg. Hannah Lynn Sullivan. Jonathan Brant Heller. Connor Patrick Sweeney. Sean Michael Helmlinger. Olivia Marie Zabo. Angela Marie Hendricks. Megan Ann yeah. Tamaro. Shane Patrick Heber. Anish Rajesh Takur. Alexandra Nicole Higgins. Connor Gerard Thatcher. Ashley B. Hillis. Lauren Judith Thatcher. Ethan Samuel Himes. Reed Everett Thatcher. Vaughn Hong. Kenneth Duffield Thorburn. Benjamin William Hofer. Aaron Drew Tui. Gavin Anthony Hoffman. Mark Vincent Tosti. Carly Alita Hoffman. Gina Yuno. James McKay Hogan. Brian F. Ung. Kayla Gabrielle Holland. Justin Ryan Ungaro. Matthew Preston Hauser. Raphael Ernesto Via Lebron. Victoria Michelle Hubbard. Alyssa Ann Veet. Philip Huddy. Stephen Charles Vickers. Bernadette Ann Hughes. Joshua William Vinglis. Elizabeth Rose Houlihan. Thomas Shane Wade. Emma Marie Hutchinson. Jenna Chalme Wagner. Nikita Illen. Madison Kate Walsh. Caitlin Page Inverso. Robert George Ward. Christian Isa. Rebecca Simon Warren. Claire Marie Jarema. Emily Jane Watkins. Abigail E. Jett. Michael Edward Watkins. Joseph Christian John. Connor Raymond Webster. Rajesh Naidu Karanam. Jason Allen Webster. Jesse Luke Cardis. Hannah T. Weiler. Dennis Karpovich. Ali Weiner. Shreya Kasim. 
Connor Allen Wells. Madison Soleil Kerr. Logan Parker West. Brian Patrick Keller. Courtney Jean Watley. Andrew Justin Kelly. Andrew Thomas Wildgust. Erin Nicole Kelly. Marina Ellen Wilkins. Thomas John Kelly. Solon McLean Williams. Devin Emerson Kendig. Catherine A. Witzig. Grace Ellen Kennedy. Nina Zhu. Kevin Brian Kiefer. Ashley Yisan Yim. Lauren So Young Kim. William Conrad Young. Sing Yup Kim. Calvin Dominic Yu. Morgan Catherine King. Sean Ben Zafar. Sasha Grace Kiselica. Holly Christina Zarutsky. John Vance Knapp. Nicholas Matthew Zarutsky. Matthew Chester Hogut IV. Anthony Ryan Zavaruka. Kara Diane Kohlmeyer. Quantin Han Zhu. James Noel Kozla. Isabella Eve Zuzalo. Evan Charles Konerko. Brandon Kyle Wojnar. Anthony David Kretschner. Carolyn Esther Kruman. Carolyn H. Kiken. Connor Thomas Kolchitsky. At this time, please rise and join us in singing Council Rock's alma mater, led by Council Rock High School Norse Choir Ensemble under the direction of Mr. Jared Williams. Thank you. It is now my great pleasure to introduce Mr. Mason Luff, Class of 2017 President, whose speech is entitled, Unconventional Importance. Sitting directly in front of me, I see a diverse group of accomplished students, athletes, musicians, thespians, artists, gamers, and more. While each and every graduate of our class is wonderfully unique, I find it very likely that each and every one of us has been subject to the same line of questioning. Where are you going to college? What's your major? These inescapable questions have plagued high school seniors for years. College becomes a foregone conclusion, a societal expectation and the entirety of an educational experience is reduced to two restrictive questions, questions that often invoke uncertain responses. As I stand before you today, I want to highlight the unconventional importance of everything that high school has been, aside from academia. While traditional subjects such as calculus, biology, and English hold obvious merit, I want to spend my opportunity to speak with you reflecting upon aspects of school that sometimes go unnoticed and are often underappreciated. When I think about the years I've spent here at Council Rock North, I wonder what I'll remember later on, and I hope 
that not all of those memories are academically based. Remember the joke you told at lunch. Remember the time your freshman bio teacher infested the entire school with fruit flies. Remember Anthony Caruso's Mr. CR and talent performance. <laughs> Remember every day when you held the door open for the person walking in behind you. Remember the time you stood up for the kid getting bullied. When they call this building a place of learning, they are right in more ways than one. Not only have we learned how to derive quadratic equations, not only have we learned how to analyze Shakespearean literature, rather, we have learned how to be people, how to be friends, how to be peers, how to be leaders. Four years ago, almost everyone seated before me sat in our auditorium together for the first time. Disjointed, unfamiliar, and awkward, we were introduced to students, teachers, principals, and counselors. Essentially, we met a plethora of strangers and were introduced to unprecedented unfamiliarity. When Mr. T welcomed us as the class of 2017, it took instruction in order to evoke skeptical clapping and mediocre cheering. Look at us now. Today, we are together. No longer strangers, the teachers, principals, and counselors have become our role models. The once unfamiliar students have become friends and even family. Mr. T's good morning class of 2017 now receives thunderous applause and unwavering screams of pride. How did this happen? Why the drastic change? Our multi multifaceted experiences over the past four years have brought us together and have shed light upon the importance of community. Together, we celebrated Blue and White Night wins. Together, we partied at proms. Together, we mourned the loss of Gordon. Together, we responded to hateful writing on the walls with a dialogue about understanding and love that will echo throughout the halls of this building for years to come. Within this building, we are gifted the tools to advance as people and to advance the Council Rock community. Today, I can confidently say that those gifts were not wasted. The opportunities provided to the students that passed through Council Rock North are not typical. They are extraordinary. I would like to thank everyone who provided so such opportunities. Thank you, Mrs. McCarthy, our school principal. Thank you, Mr. T, our grade level principal. Thank you, Mr. Bowell, Mrs. Graham, and Mr. DeFrancesco, our class advisors. Thank you to the principals. Thank you, teachers. Thank you, counselors. Thank you to everyone in the Career Center. Thank you, librarians. Thank you, secretaries. Thank you, maintenance workers. Thank you, cleanup crew. Thank you, cafeteria crew. Thank you, security guards. Thank you, friends and family that have joined us to honor your graduating student. As everyone in attendance has contributed to and is a part, part of our community. And last but not least, I'd like to thank the entire class of 2017. Within our ranks, I've met some of the most unique, curious, compassionate, and genuine people. I know that whatever you do after today, whether that's entering the workforce, serving our nation in the military, exploring the world, going to college, or whatever else, Council Rock North's class of 2017 will do some profound things. This school has provided us with an experience, not only of academic growth, but one of unconventional importance that will enable us to conceive, exclaim, and echo messages of progress that will soon shape our world. Thank you. Thank you, Mason. Our next student speaker is Ms. Ivy Attenborough, whose speech is entitled, Trust the Process. For the past four years, we've been working for this. Graduation, a diploma, the cap and gown experience. And it's great, um, please don't get me wrong, but it's not what I expected. No one is singing or dancing, Troy and Gabrielle aren't gonna pop out and lead a suspiciously well-coordinated but also impromptu flash mob. It's not a Disney production, but it sure has been a production. As a class, we've endured a lot. We've said goodbye to a few of our fellow classmates, but we've also welcomed in countless new and exchange students. As individuals, we entered high school as completely different people than we will leave today. We were kids and now we're kind of adults. Whether you achieved academic excellence or you explored your identity through hobbies or new friends, you grew up. We all did and we'll keep growing. So this celebration, this graduation, is not to celebrate our getting a diploma. It's to celebrate the journey we've made. The outcome has not been something anyone could see overnight. No one was awarded a trophy for the hundreds of tiny accomplishments they made. It has been about the process. 
We are gathered to rejoice in all of the tiny achievements and twists and turns that compiled have brought us to this very point. That's something I hope every single one of us remembers, whether you're going to university, vocational school, the workforce, the armed services, or just taking some time off to figure things out. Life is nonlinear by nature, and that is okay. And it is okay to make mistakes, because we're going to. What is important is that we adjust and appreciate that the process of growing is so much more valuable than the outcome. We don't go to high school to graduate. Technically, yes, we have the goal of graduating, but we go to high school to learn and fail in an environment in which we have people like our parents, teachers, counselors, and friends to help us get back on our feet again and keep moving. And now, our graduation signifies that we have proven our ability to stand up on our own. There are going to be times when we need help, and it will come to those who ask. So ask. To our parents and grandparents, thank you. Without you, none of our successes could have been possible. Thank you for showing us support and love and freedom to make mistakes and grow. To our teachers, counselors, and administration, thank you for challenging us. Thank you for teaching us the skills to adapt to the world around us and to persevere when the light at the end of the tunnel is not always visible. And now to us, to my fellow classmates, congratulations, we did it. As we say goodbye, remember a few things. Life is messy and weird and confusing. It always has been and it always will be. Clicks are so high school. Talk to diverse types of people and learn from them. You'll never regret hearing a new perspective. Trust your parents and their wisdom. They did this before, so they might know a thing or two. Trust your intuition and your gut. If it tells you to take a chance and leap, leap head first and commit. And in the words of Sam Hinkie and the 76ers, trust the process. Thank you, Ivy. Our third student speaker is Mr. Brandon Sarami whose speech is entitled, That's Something. Let's get down to business. My fellow humans, Americans, students, friends, class of 2017, it's an honor to speak before all of you. Every one of you is incredibly talented and will certainly go off to do wondrous things for society. Now that I think of it, I've never really had the chance to speak before all of you until now. I'm glad to be able to do so now, although this seems a little last minute. Hopefully you'll be able to forgive my procrastination. Now, whether you're a student going into higher education next year or into the workforce or maybe into the armed services, whether you're a parent or a grandparent or maybe a friend of someone here, I want you to envision something, something you've always wanted, something you're striving for. If you can't think of that something, you better do so right now because your life depends on it. Keep that vision in mind. Now, envision the steps it would take to reach that something. That's something that gives your life meaning and purpose. A vision is steps. That staircase, it must be enormous. That staircase probably stretches into the stratosphere, right? Seems pretty daunting, huh? See, how most people see the length of the staircase and they give up right then and there. They say, someday I'll do that. Someday. Why not day one? You know, why not start? I know of a quote by Robert Kirkman, it goes, the pessimist looks down and hits his head. The optimist looks up and loses his footing. The realist looks forward and adjusts his path accordingly. Be a realist. Please, don't look up at these steps, but just look forward at the ones in front of you. Don't look up and climb the first one in front of you. And then the next day, do one more. Keep doing this until you come to the realization that the step in front of you is the last. Success, whatever that means to you, is not some sort of esoteric, elusive, godlike goal that only the few among us can achieve. It's within all of us to be successful. Everyone has the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So therefore, it is your right 
to be successful. We're all born with the right to success. And tell yourself that this goal that you're striving for, this reason for living, for getting up each and every day, sacrificing the comfort of your bed for the many complexities of life, tell yourself that it's possible. See, most people can't say that they'll achieve this goal or be successful, but what they can say is that it's possible, that I can do that, or worse yet, that I could have done that. Please, don't wait for the perfect timing. Start as soon as you can. Start right when you get home if you want. There will never be the perfect timing or the right environment or perfect amount of resources for you to start, but that doesn't matter. For Sergey Brin and Larry Page, it didn't matter. They ran in a garage in September of 1998 from their friend Susan Warhickey. And they both worked tirelessly day and night to form what we now know today as Google. Big things have humble beginnings. Regardless of where anybody is going next year, make next year and the years to come full of hard work and determination. Keep working towards what you want in life because you only get one. You exist only once. And have faith too. In your future endeavors, have faith. I'm not saying that you need religion, but what I am saying is that I want you to have faith in your future, in your abilities. Have faith, not hope. Hope is a beggar. Hope begs while faith leaps. See, if you hope for something, you're looking at that something as something far off and unattainable. People hope to win the lottery, but they never will. Success is not a destination. Rather, success is a mind step to keep striving, keep climbing every single day. Take a leap of faith, my friends, and never give up. Thank you. And our last student speaker is Ms. Dorothy Zhao, whose speech is entitled, Caution, Motion Sickness. bodies are composed of 7 times 10 to the 27th, or 7 billion, billion, billion atoms that are constantly moving. The Earth we stand on is rotating at approximately 1,000 miles per hour. And even though we cannot see it or even feel it, we live in a state of constant motion. But what is motion? Well, in physics class, I learned that motion can be measured through velocity and speed, time and acceleration. However, if there is one thing I can definitively say, it is that our lives are not solely composed of these quantitative measures. They cannot be summed up by the seconds that have passed or the miles we have traveled. Our lives are defined by motion, by journey, that whether it pushes us back or brings us forward, shapes the contours of our life story. For me, motion has been ingrained in my life. As a first-generation American, I am here because of my parents, who at 25 left their families, their language, their home, the only life they knew in search of a better place. Their journey spanned 6,850 miles, four different countries, and six years. And I am forever grateful for the fact that I can stand here, having the opportunity to not only speak before you, but to graduate from high school, because this is a testament to the power of motion. Now, I know that most of us have not crossed continents or have moved mountains. However, we are still well-versed in motion. For us, motion has been diving into that swimming pool freshman year, or gingerly navigating crossovers, or even running onto this very field during our last blue and white night. And as we leave Council Rock North today, we will be moving once again, scattering across the country. We will move in all directions, but regardless of the path we take, we are always moving forward. Now in biology, we have learned that our motion is powered by the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. And in English, we've studied motion through the hero's journey. Outside of class at Disney, we saw the motion of 400 high school kids reverting to their childhood selves. 
And through these years in high school, we have seen motion as we have grown older and taller and hopefully wiser and kinder. I do not know where we will end up or what the future holds. However, I am sure of one thing. We will abide by the lessons we have learned. We will embrace our lives through the constant state of motion from the microscopic bouncing atoms to the impossibly grand rotation of the Earth. We will continue moving forward. So to the class of 2017, a class that I know is full of movers and shakers, mavericks and visionaries, congratulations. We have finally made it and it is time for us to continue moving forward. Thank you. Thank you to all of our student speakers today. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce Dr. Robert Frazier, Council Rock School District Superintendent. Thank you, Ms. McCarthy. And it is my pleasure to announce that the students seated before us today have indeed met the requirements for graduation as set forth by the Board of Directors of the Council Rock School District and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce Council Rock School Board Director, Ms. Kyle McKessie. Ms. McKessie. Having met the requirements as set forth by the Board of Directors of the Council Rock School District and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I confer upon each of you a diploma recognizing your graduate status. Please move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left. I now pronounce you graduates of Council Rock North. Before concluding, I would like to highlight three people who've worked very closely with the class of 2017. Mr. Jason Treskevich, senior class principal, or rather Mr. T, Mr. Dave Bowell, and Mr. Joe DeFrancesco, senior class advisors. This concludes the graduation ceremony for Council Rock High School Norse class of 2017.